Welcome back graduates. So today I'm going to be showing you a tool that I'm working on. Ignore the really ugly design. Uh, it's still a work in progress, but it's a tool. It's a tool nonetheless. Now, some of you may not be developers. Some of you may be developers. Maybe you're an agency owner and you're constantly working on Shopify sections for people. So this tool is perfect for you. So what this does is it allows you to paste HTML code into here and generate um, liquid. So I'll just type in test. That'll, that's what we'll call the section. Uh, you have options where you can randomize these classes. You can specify how long you want the class names to be. You can also prefix it. So for me, I'd like to do EG. You can also um, automatically add your settings into your HTML code. So as you're developing, you can kind of think, all right, this heading right here, I need it's a, it's a, the set, a setting type of text. I need it to. Um, have a default value of this and an ID of this so you can kind of specify that but let me show you what this all looks like without any of these options enabled we'll get rid of the prefix option and we'll just click convert so right away you see you still see the same CSS now you see sections here you have your heading one font color because you had inline styles up here so it automatically picked up those and it generated your schema just auto automatically automatically so now maybe I want to prefix my CSS, maybe it's interfering with things on the page. So you just come back here, you click convert, and you got eg button, eg coal 50, eg image uh, image uh, fluid. Um, and you can see that eg row, eg coal 50, eg coal 50. So it, it really, uh, it's very intuitive. Now maybe I want to have my, maybe I don't like how you know, the system's automatically creating the heading one section. So now I'll click convert, you'll see that change heading text, go down here, heading text, and it has all of these options right here that we specified, uh, making life a lot easier. Now, you know what, we want to randomize it, let's just have really long class names, because everybody likes that, right? Um, so now you got here, EG, um, and it automatically goes and updates your HTML code as accordingly, but you know what, these are too long, I don't like it, let's click convert again. It shortens it, updates it, and now you can copy your clipboard, you can download the file here. As you can see, I tried it four different times so far. Um, it's a very intuitive system. It allows you to really convert and uh, you know rapidly work on client work for yourself. Or maybe for your own store. Maybe you know HTML, but you don't know Liquid, and that's what this tool is. This tool is here for that. It's not publicly available yet. I'm debating if I'm gonna make it a paid service or if it's gonna be something that you can just go to html2liquid.com, which I do own that domain. So that's where it's gonna be, just not live yet. It's, I'm still testing it. Um, I'm just debating if I should charge for something like this. Um, you know, I don't really, really know what, like what to charge. I was thinking about a, like a, maybe a credit-based system where, you know, one conversion is like half a credit. Um, you know, it, it's, it's still a work in progress. There's a lot more to do, but Overall, it, it is working. Um, you know, right now I'm struggling with images, uh, just because images are just difficult. Um, <clears throat> and and this tool will never be a tool where it's where you can just go and upload a bunch of HTML files and expect your themes to work. Like you have to have some development knowledge. This tool is here to help people speed up their development process. That's what it's for. It, it, you know, think about all the time that this just saved. You know, you don't have to go in and, you know, add, you don't have to go in and, um, you know, create your settings. It just does it for you. May, maybe you need to edit some IDs, but that's really it. Um, a few other options I'm thinking about adding in is allowing you to specify the formatting. Uh, you know, some of you may prefer camel casing. Some of you, uh, excuse me, sorry. Some of you may prefer, um, you know, doing underscores, hyphens, um, you know, snake casing. I mean, it's really your your preference, but... Um, yeah, it, this is uh, kind of it. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks.